The fleet has lost contact with the ground forces at New Gettysburg. General Minsk has ordered the immediate disengagement of the Korhal fleet from the Tarsonian system. Protoss and Zerg forces continue to battle across the core continent of Tarsonis. Receiving incoming transmission. I can't believe he actually left her down there. I'm gone, and you better come with me. There's no telling who Arcturus will screw over next. Receiving incoming transmission. Gentlemen, you've done very well. But remember that we've still got a job to do. The seeds of a new empire. I have been sown. And if we hope to I to hell with you! You sacrificed Kerrigan? You will regret that. You do not seem to realize my situation here. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. If you try to get in my way... The fleet is prepped and ready, Commander. Awaiting orders. The hell with him. We're gone. It appears that General Duke has successfully activated Tarsonis' primary defensive weapon, the Ion Cannon. The cannon must be shut down if any escape attempt is to be made. Alrighty, so hello and welcome everyone. This is Nexus Starcraft bringing you Starcraft 2 from Egypt. Now, this is a little bit of a crazy mission because uh, actually. In the last mission, our tourist minks have basically left Kerrigan to the Zerg to kill her. Uh, if it's it, uh, if it's it that simple. And uh, in this mission, Raynor seems to be uh, not okay with that. And uh, actually, I think that we got uh, rejected from the Hyperion or something. And you are going to need to destroy the Iron Cannon to be able to escape our way from the Tarsonian system. So without any further ado, let's get going. This is the Orbital Command Platform, Perimeter Orbit over Torsonis. And this is actually where the Ion Cannon is. Yeah, I think there is... Yeah, I think that's it is. And we have got a base here and a bunch of forces. Yeah. the law and we're the criminals. Kills me to know that we helped him achieve his goals in conquest. Damn it. I shouldn't have let her go alone. Well, calm down, Raynor. It's not your fault, boy. Oh, this is Jimmy? Wow. Alright. I didn't notice the, uh, the Raynor must survive mission objective here. But it's okay, though. Um... Uh, what time composition, uh, what uh, unit composition actually we should be focusing on? I think, um, since we don't have any buildings whatsoever, and we are going to start from scratch, it would be a wise idea of, uh, I, 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 if we actually go to, uh, hmm, I'm not so sure, maybe we can go bio? Oh. Yeah, and we can go back to our base, please. <laughs> yeah, of course we need supply depots. We have three here, but we need more. I don't think we should be defending the ram from down the ram. We should be standing on the uh, on the actual ram here and uh, simply do so from up there. So we are going to build two barracks. To start things off. And then we can continue building SCVs. So we'll spend some, spend some time uh, as usual building up the forces to cut through the, uh, you know, the unnecessary part of it. And we'll be here soon.
this is uh, the army we got now, and uh, we have got a very he healthy base actually going on. But I think Raynor leading the charge isn't ideal at all. And I believe I'm going to separate him and actually let him go alone. Insufficient Vespine gas. Mineral field depleted. So, we are making a very good progress overall. We just need to uh, take up this siege tank. We have uh, completed the upgrade, and oh, this is very cool already. Uh, what is this? Oh, we have. Uh, Races here. Not enough uh, we need a science vessel though, so to, so that we can actually get the uh, the upgrades going. can see job here. So that we can actually start dealing a little bit of damage here. We need to destroy this starboard though because it's uh, it's building uh, you know It's building races and races get clogged and we don't uh, we will not be able to eventually get the uh, the scans that we need to actually deal with that. Not enough minerals. Yeah, more races. That is a lot of supply evils here. Progress towards the iron cannon thing. I'm really curious though about the uh, the other side of the map because I think they are going to maybe attack from here or something. So I need to get ready for that. I think we are all right. And we've completely destroyed this entire side of the map, so I'm guessing that we can take this space now. Yeah, please. And we can start moving towards other places, but I'm keeping the reinforcements here so that I can actually uh, defend any counter-aggression that they are going to throw at us. 
I'm not so sure though about what we should find in here. Or should we even go try and go for here? Because I don't think there is a way leading there, right? What if we attack moved here? Another gas. Another base, actually, not gas only. And they are taking a route. I think that is the the, the road to go. Not enough minerals. Yeah, continue moving toward the iron cannon. Um. Oh no. This is a big. Uh, I think we have, we need to actually. Uh, we need some air units to transport our. Uh, our things to the other side of the uh, chasm here, or th through the platform, I should say. Upgrade complete. So, I guess I'll take a little bit more time to do this, and I'll keep. I'll meet you guys in a couple of minutes. Basically, just dropping units here slowly but surely, and we are trying to do so with uh, in steps actually, so that we can be able to uh, do this very well. Now we can continue on with our transporting. Over to the other side, and we can please load the people from up here. To here and drop them down. Oh, we have battle cruisers. Can you get back here, please? Oh well, oh well, we have got a whole lot of new army now coming in. Need to seize these up. Yeah. That we can do. So I think we are now in range of the iron cannon and we can basically destroy it. Base is under attack. Your forces are under attack. And I don't uh, I hope that we just don't get destroyed oh. Oh yeah, we destroyed the cannon. <laughs> I was wondering why is everything stopping? Oh, are we defeated? Uh well, that sound in the end of the uh, game sounds like the defeat sound, actually. So there was the Sons of Corals, and there was actually an Alpha Squadron, which is the General Duke, um, I don't know what they're called. And we are now the former Colonial Militia, wow. 
So we managed to complete the Hammer's, the Hammer Falls mission on the hardest difficulty and um, yeah, the, the story is actually getting more interesting now that we, that we are separated from Arcturus Manx because we are actually, yeah, we are supposed to fight him in the Winds of Liberty and I was wondering why this actually happened in the first place. Because when I first saw Arcturus Manx in the campaign here uh, and I found out that we are allies actually and we are helping him do his goals, uh, I, I never actually imagined how uh, could the story turn around that we are actually going to be fighting him in the Winds of Liberty campaign. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. If you did, please give it a like and if you want to see the upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe so you'll get a notification when I upload those videos. Also, thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to open those beautiful additional balance and good luck, have fun everyone. Fellow Terrans, I come to you in the wake of recent events to issue a call to reason. Let no human deny the perils of our time. While we battle one another, divided by the petty strife of our common history, the tide of a greater conflict is turning against us, threatening to destroy all that we have accomplished. It is time for us as nations and as individuals to set aside our long-standing feuds and unite. The tides of an unwinnable war are upon us, and we must seek refuge upon higher ground lest we be swept away by the flood. The Confederacy is no more. Whatever semblance of unity and protection it once provided is a phantom, a memory. With our enemies left unchecked, who will you turn to for protection? The devastation wrought by the alien invaders is self-evident. We have seen our homes and communities destroyed by the calculated blows of the Protoss. We have seen firsthand our friends and loved ones consumed by the nightmare sir. Unprecedented and unimaginable though they may be, these are the signs of our time. The time has come, my fellow Terrans, to rally to a new banner. In unity lies strength. Already many of the dissident factions have joined us. Out of the many, we shall forge an indivisible whole, capitulating only to a single throne. And from that throne, I shall watch over you. From this day forward, let no human make war upon any other human. Let no Terran agency conspire against this new beginning. And let no man consort with alien powers. And to all the enemies of humanity, seek not to bar our way. For we shall win through, no matter the cost.